So, you're stuck in the house because there's a sun bug out there, and the whole world is clouds covering it over, and you don't want to go to karate looking like this. So, you're stuck at home there, bored, and no room to work out. Well, let's change that. Today, I'm going to show you proof of stance. This is something you don't need a very big area to practice, but it is very good at building up the strength in your legs and more. Proof of stance at first seems very easy, and many people feel that they can do it with no problem. However, many athletes in that do not realize the strength it takes to do this type of a drill. There are a few things you need to be wary of when you're doing this. Make sure you don't have your backside sticking out and possibly having your knees pulled back. This will cause problems with your legs and knees and not give you a good posture. Make sure you push your hips forward and your knees over your toes or past them in order to get the proper strength and distance. Make sure your back is straight and your hips and head are above your feet in a straight line. Many styles such as Tai Chi use this to keep their height the same when they are doing their movements. In the next couple of videos we'll cover how to move and what you should do for your own systems or styles. I have had many instructors that have shown this usually make a person stand there a minute without doing anything. I find that many of my students get bored with this so I like to do basics of some sort while we're in this stance. Right now we're not moving around but we're able to go through do our punches, several of our blocks or whatever we need to do to keep our mind focused on keeping our body straight and helping us to understand the power we need to send forward. Don't do these forcefully because right now this is not for the techniques themselves. Techniques should often just be done because of whatever styles you're working with or if you're trying to be specific about items that you're trying to learn. Like most exercises, you should do at least three reps of this every time you're training it and increase your time as you get used to doing this over the next few weeks or however you want to set up your routines. Be astutely aware of where your hips are and your knees are in this process. You can twist your hips or, or that a little bit in case you're wanting to get torque or whatever you're trying to put into your system. In the next videos, I hope to show you how to use your legs in this type of a drill. And then also in the third video, my plan is to show you how to set up your techniques in a, what is called four winds training. Remember, there shouldn't be pain, maybe some discomfort in doing all of these drills, but be aware of what your body's trying to tell you and don't overdo. That's one important thing a coach or an athlete needs to understand. During this time period, it is increasingly difficult to train normally. But keep in shape as best you can and focus on how to do things in whatever circumstances you are in at this time. It won't be long until we can soon be back to normal, where we might be able to throw our best friends around and do our favorite techniques or possibly work on doing our own self-defense techniques with our partners. Things will get better and back to normal where you can train properly. But for now, stay safe, stay healthy, stay home, and we'll see you again soon here on Shihan's Dojo.